Good morning everyone and a Merry Christmas Eve to you. Thanks for joining us here at 6 a.m. We begin this hour with a weather alert as the first in a series of winter storms makes its way across the county. Take a look. This was the view outside in Kearney Mesa earlier this morning about an hour ago, although right now we're getting a little bit of a break from the rain. You can see just how strong it was coming down really through the overnight hours. Net air on poor has been tracking the rain and what we can expect over the next few days as people are likely making their travel plans dry driving in from various spots across Southern California, uh, maybe a treacherous commute at times. Yeah, I mean, right now, you know, you'll notice ponding on the roads. It's very slick out there. So unfortunately, that tends to lead to spin outs. And I want to show you first what happened overnight. I mean, the rain started to pick up yesterday afternoon, three, four o'clock, and then overnight it really ramped up. You saw in that video from right outside of our studio uh, between two and I would say 5 a.m. We got these heavy downpours and it has left its mark already in Oceanside. 1.4 inches of rain, 1.6 in Fallbrook. Look at Palomar, 4.7 inches of rain already. Nearly two for Julian, nearly two for Lake Quimaca. Downtown San Diego, about a half inch. And then Chula Vista, barely anything. So these totals just came in from the Weather Service at 5 a.m. And now what we're starting to see is this momentary almost pause through North County along the coast. As you'll see, it's not as intense. There is this one line coming from Chula Vista through Bonita into La Presa and then Hamishaw Junction as you see so that might get you know kind of rough and just loud if that's where you live you're probably hearing the loud sounds of raindrops I know a lot of people probably got woken up by that around 2 a.m. there's plenty of moisture still to come so it's far from over you see this heavy line right there of the ocean then that's headed for San Diego here's a check of traffic because as we know we do tend to see a lot of issues when we get this rain I want to get right to this one Wildcat Canyon Road a lane is blocked there because of a boulder in the road so that's something that can happen when we get heavy rain like we have Strong winds, of course, also part of the issue where we see down trees, branches, debris, things like that. On the 15, as you see, a lane is blocked. There's a crash there right at Market Street. So let's get a check of the conditions outside. The latest storm posing a challenge, as we've been talking about, for our freeways, but also for a lot of people who are doing last-minute holiday shopping. News 8 Santa Marie McNichol joining us live in Mission Valley, right by the San Diego River. What's going on there, Dana Marie? Hi, Netta. Well, like you said, we're feeling that maybe quick pause here in Fashion Valley. The rain really has let up, but like you said, the San Diego River is flowing very hard right behind me. Now, historically, this area in Mission and Fashion Valley floods, so uh, the San Diego City did put out a notice that, hey, some of these roads are going to be closed because of that river flowing right through here. So if you're planning on shopping here uh, in Fashion Valley, know that this entrance into the mall is going to be closed today. Now, in terms of the amount of rain about an hour ago, we really did see it come hard, it come down pretty hard and definitely impacting the roads as I came all the way from El Cajon. Now, uh, based on the estimated rainfall amounts, the San Diego River is expected to flood. That's what a statement from the city said. Uh, they gave a full list of what roads will be closed in this area, about six of them. So I suggest heading over to CBS8.com to get a full look at that list if you're planning on coming in this area. Now, right here, it is absolutely barricaded. And if you see those barricades up on those roads, please be careful because this is a reminder that your car cannot pass through safely here. It's not a safe area to be. Just moments ago, we did see San Diego Lifeguard and Rescue. Uh, they're patrolling this area with a life raft up on top, so they're ready for any type of rescue in this area because this water is flowing fast and, and hard. It's been raining for about 12 hours, Netta was saying just moments ago, so we've seen heavy amounts of rain accumulating in the San Diego River area, so just a heads up. It is definitely having some flooding issues, so safe travels on your Christmas Eve, but just expect some of that rain delay and also some flooding in the Fashion Valley area. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Yeah, and you're seeing scenes like that all across Southern California. So hopefully you are where you need to be already. Dana Marie, thank you for bringing us that live look. And we want to see the weather where you live. You can upload your photos and your videos through the News 8 app. Just click on the Near Me feature. It's on the bottom right of the app, and you can share any images with us.
Well, coronavirus is causing problems for holiday travelers. United Airlines is canceling more than 100 flights today due to COVID related staffing shortages. Delta has also canceled some flights. Airline industry leaders are urging the CDC to update its isolation guidelines for fully vaccinated people. They are now pushing for five days with a negative test. So right now people have to be out for longer. Uh, county health officials are reporting more than 2300 new confirmed cases of COVID-19. So here here are the latest numbers. That's the biggest single day increase since late January. Total COVID related hospitalizations fell by eight. 355 people are in the hospital and those in the intensive care that dropped from 100 to now 96 people. Eight additional deaths were also reported. Now 4,442 San Diegans have now died from COVID-19. And a heads up, if you needed a last minute COVID test, county testing sites will be closed today and tomorrow because of the Christmas Eve holiday and Christmas Day holiday. County vaccination sites will also be closed. We've seen long lines at testing centers ahead of Christmas. Yesterday, people told us that they waited up to two hours just to get tested. At home tests have also been selling out at stores and county officials expect to receive limited supplies of new antiviral treatments for COVID-19 in the next few days. This comes after the FDA authorized the pills made by two companies, Merck and Pfizer. News 8's Richard Allen has more on the differences between the two treatments and who will be eligible to get the pills. We were calling it a Christmas present. Absolutely. Suzanne Shea is Vice President of System Pharmacy and Clinical Nutrition at Sharp Healthcare in San Diego. She says as the Omicron surge continues, the timing of the FDA's approval of two antiviral oral treatments for COVID is critical. Honestly, I'm really excited. On Thursday, the FDA gave the green light to Merck's antiviral pill for high-risk adults, one day after granting similar emergency authorization to Pfizer's pill. The federal government believes both will work against Omicron and help keep more people battling COVID-19 out of the hospital. If we can free up those beds, help out our staff and keep people at home, that is a huge game changer. A game changer that's heading to San Diego. County officials confirmed Thursday that we will soon be receiving limited doses of the pills. While not providing a specific timetable, the county expects its first shipment of Pfizer's Paxlovid in the coming days, adding that Merck's drug is expected to arrive in our county soon after that. It's going to be very, very limited initially. And provided by prescription to those patients who are at highest risk of serious illness. We're looking at, at patients who maybe can't um, have an immune response or elderly patients or people with other conditions that would put them in a situation where they would be most likely to become hospitalized and get severely ill. While studies show Pfizer's treatment is nearly 90% effective, Merck's drug was shown to reduce hospitalizations and deaths by about 30%. In the meantime, the focus nationwide is on manufacturing more of both of these treatments. All tools are on the table, uh, including the use of the Defense Production Act to get Pfizer the things they need to produce this antiviral as quickly as possible. Pfizer plans to ship out 250,000 treatment courses nationwide in the next month, while Merck says it will be able to ship out 1 million of its treatment courses within the next few weeks. Both treatments will be free to patients in the U.S. Richard Allen, News 8. And another story that we've been saying on top of this week, the trash is piling up for thousands of Republic Service customers and it likely won't be picked up until after Christmas. That's according to the union representing more than 250 of the company's sanitation workers. As their strike continues, employees are demanding better pay and safer work conditions. Chula Vista Council member Steve Padilla says that these employees are essential workers and he supports their demand for change. And switching gears at 608, we're taking a look at the forecast. Net is tracking the storm as it makes its way through a little bit of a pause right now. Look right? at that. Yeah, a little bit of Beautiful. clear sky. I mean, some areas uh, you're getting a break from the clouds and a break from the raindrops. So this is downtown San Diego. And as the camera swings around, you can kind of see a little bit of opening up of the clouds. We are getting that momentary pause, but you know, it's not over. So just a heads up, you know, even though it's not raining outside your house at the moment, 
moment, there's still plenty over the ocean that's headed our way. So you can see over the past two hours what we got over San Diego, a pretty strong line of heavy shower activity. 2 to 5 a.m. Really, this kind of peaked and probably woke up a lot of people from a nice cozy sleep. Uh, and so right now, as we're noticing some of the stronger areas of rainfall, you know, headed right towards Hamishaw Junction along the foothills of the mountains, but many areas, uh, you know, you do get a chance to walk your dog right now. Here's a look at Escondido and San Marcos where it's still coming in, but just not as strong as what it was doing uh, right there through Vista. Unfortunately, you're now getting a pretty strong cell over you and it's starting to build just to the north. So as you see right there, San Onofre, it looks like towards Camp Pendleton, you'll likely see a little more moisture and then what we tend to see over the ocean or in LA all sweeps right into San Diego. So from now until maybe the next hour or so, enjoy the break, but there's more and yeah, that will start to intensify a bit around 7, 8 o'clock this morning. Now, the atmospheric river that came through, it's still hovering right over us, and it is still bringing a lot of rain into Baja. So let's time things out so you can kind of plan your morning. Uh, now till 7, yes, that pause I mentioned, and then we'll start to see these heavier cells coming through, and it'll be kind of scattered in nature. 8 a.m., it'll pick up a little bit more through 9 a.m., and then by 10, 11, we'll see less of this action this afternoon a few areas with scattered rain, but that also will be a good time to clean up what maybe this rain caused and then also a good time to run any errands that you may need to run before Christmas Day. Here's a check of traffic. As we know, when we see rainfall rates of an inch per hour, you know, these quick heavy cells that moved through, we tend to get ponding on our roads. So unfortunately, that is happening. Uh, just now noticing this icon here of that boulder. This is Wildcat Canyon Road near Muth Valley Road, but also the Sheriff's Department uh, talking about another boulder it looks like that came down in Valley Center off of Lilac. So they are working to clear the scene of those. Uh, also on the five, the number one lane is blocked with this crash right at the 54. So this is coming up from Chula Vista. So it does not look like anyone's slowing because of it. But, you know, when it's wet on the freeways, we tend to see many spin outs. Hopefully that does not happen to you today. On the five, there's a stalled car at the northbound side of Balboa Avenue. That's also where about 30 minutes ago they cleared the scene of a tree that came down on the five at Balboa and they just cleared the scene here on the 15 at Market Street so that hopefully will be moving along pretty smoothly but it's a good time to remind you please please go slow because the roads are very very wet right now.